everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and boy, oh boy, do I have a nice little book flip for you. I got up this morning with absolutely nothing on my mind to do today except for to get dressed. <laughs> Some days it just goes like that. But I look through my YouTube favorites for my subscriptions, and guess what I found? I found a video tutorial from Patricia at La Cafe Craft. Um, she always puts together the coolest little projects. Now, some of them are complicated. This one was, uh, this one was a time consumer because of what's on the inside. Uh, and let me give you, I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'll do the flip and then I will, uh, link her YouTube channel down below. Uh, let me give you some really good advice that she talks about in the video. And I did what she said. Don't do the measurements in inches. Turn your ruler over and use centimeters. Your life will be a whole lot easier because some of this stuff is like three and one sixteenths. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I can't be bothered with doing that. So I did do the millimeters and boy, our centimeters, and guess what? So much easier than I anticipated. And... It was great. So she will give you a, uh, she'll hold up the measurements for things and say, now take a screenshot of it. And I suggest you take a screenshot of your computer that has the measurements because some of it, she goes over a little quicker than my brain could process. And then I had to go back and recut something because I got stuff mixed up. So without further ado, let me do the flip. This is silk ribbon that I got from a gift certificate. And I took the silk ribbon and I cut it in half to make it last longer. I'm not sure if that was, oh, now see, that's, this is what's going to happen now. I'm not sure that was the brightest idea because you get a lot of frays. All right, so here you have the front cover, and then this is the back. And you use tags that you make and cover, like the first two inches, of the first two inch top of a tag, poke holes in it. And that's how you um, tie this together. And believe me, you'll need to tie it together. So here's the inside. Now these, this is for my daughter-in-law and my new, these are pictures of my new grandbaby and my family. So it is pinky girl stuff because it was a girl. So you cut, you take um, cardstock and cut a long piece and then you end up scoring it for the folds in the in the little book then you have smaller stuff to fold out so that you can put all kinds of pictures and then this one you don't get as much many fold outs but it is very clever because on the opposite side you're going to get this. Now I didn't tie a knot in it and maybe I need to buy a longer one so I could tie this in a bow but you can just kind of pull this out and then you have a little surprise in the middle. Um, when you watch Patricia's tutorial you will see that she did more things and I missed some of it from going backwards and forwards and I was watching TV while I was doing it so that did not help. Um, and she put pockets, hidden pockets, side pockets. There was stuff up here, a, a, a tag she pulled out this way. And then she did one where she pulled the tag out like from the side. I didn't do any of that. I just made mine as plain as I could because time is um, short. So I really enjoyed doing this. This was so much fun fun and it's go, going to go to my daughter-in-law along with a Christmas gift for her which will be late due to some back issues I had so there is a cute little book flip of the cutest little project um, I've made little books before that were the concertina or accordion books um, in the past but I like this one because this one is a little more complicated and <clears throat> excuse me looks a little more sophisticated okay so 
I wasn't going to film making one of these lovely photo books, but I decided that I will show you how to make it. I'm not going to include any of the measurements. You'll need to go to the Cafe Craft at Patricia's site to get the measurements and check out the way she made hers. Mine will be about the same, probably not in the same order she did it in, but it's okay. I figured out how to do it, and now I'm going to recreate it, but it will all be um, fast-forwarded because I'm watching the news. Okay, so I was just going to do fast-forward music, and I know people hate the music part, so I thought I would just do this instead. I'm not crazy about doing voiceovers, but... That's just the way life's been lately. Um, I bought this packet of paper where the papers are coordinated that say baby girl on it when my daughter-in-law told us that she was pregnant. It was the last thing I think that I purchased from Tuesday morning before they closed. Thank goodness I did because it has come in handy. So I really enjoyed making this. I made one for my granddaughter and this one is for my grandniece. My son and his wife had a baby, I think a month after my niece had her baby. So, and it was both, they were both girls. So it worked out really well. So I did, I don't regret not buying the boy one because there are no boys. So I'm just going through, trying to pick. I'm very indecisive. Do I want a green, brown background that will kind of go with the colors in the paper? And it's a cardstock paper. It's not scrapbook paper. It's more cardstock with a lovely design. Although I'm not a pink person, but I did enjoy making these. I thought it was fun. Um, my desk, when I got done, looked like a tornado had exploded or thrown up pink everywhere. So... It took me about a half an hour to clean that desk off because it was a mess. All right, here I'm cutting. I decide on the gray, and I'm cutting and measuring. And like I said, I think in the beginning, use centimeters as your measurement. It will make everything so much easier for you. All right, there's the accordion, the middle part that holds the most amount of photos. You glue it in the middle of the book. And then you just, I just clamped it down so it would dry properly on the ends. Here I am fiddling around with trying to decide what I might make the second accordion portion. So I couldn't decide, but I decided I wanted to use the tags that are involved in the book in the front and the back. And then the very last little peekaboo picture thing that I would just use. I think this is a polka dot pink and white paper from that same paper pack. It was super easy to make this. It's just a little bit time consuming when you can't make up your mind. The first one where I did for my granddaughter, I did include photos because I had them on my phone and then I transferred them from my phone to, um, I don't know, Google Photos. So they'd be there. I did not do that with my niece's photos, grandniece's photos. I figured her mommy would put in whatever she wanted because I don't have a lot of her photos. I, I didn't swipe them off of Facebook. So I will let her put in the photos that she wants. I really thought this was cute paper. A lot of pink for me. <laughs> a lot of pink. I think that's probably why I gravitated towards the gray so I could kind of tone down the pink. You cut a lot of squares. I rounded the corners with the corner rounder. You don't have to, you can leave them square. This you do not glue down all the way to the um, opening because you're gonna loop ribbon through it so you can tie the book shut. It took me a couple minutes when I made the first one to figure out why I'm gluing these on front side and back side of the book. I did not understand why I needed to do that. And trying to figure out where to make the uh, crease kind of threw me with the first book. The second one, it wasn't 
it wasn't hard at all. I understood the concept of the construction. You're just putting them like bookends and then you're going to tie a ribbon so they can open and close that little peekaboo place. This project took an hour and 15 minutes. So that's why I sped it up because <laughs> I didn't think you guys would have an hour and 15 minutes to watch this during the Christmas holiday season while you're shopping and sweating out gifts. It was fun. It was fun to make. And anybody else in my family has a baby in the future, guess what you're getting? <laughs> I might have to go look for boy paper collections, but um, that's what you're going to get. Let me tell you the name of the collection. If I can reach here without the headphones ripping out of the machine. Not that... I don't know if you can purchase this or not. What's it called? It's from... Oh, I have it in here upside down because... Oh. It's uh, called Sweet Baby Girl by Lori Whitlock. It's Echo Park Paper Company. I don't usually buy branded stuff, but this is really a good purchase for $7.49 from Tuesday morning right before they closed. It says here the estimated value was $16. So, you know, for $7.49, I got to make two little tiny books, and I have a ton of paper in that collection left over. So anybody else in the family is planning to have another child, please have a girl. <laughs> I think the worst part about this was trying to decide what paper I wanted to use and make sure I didn't put two of the same thing too close to each other in the accordions. 